It's about collaboration, teamwork, and community. It's about learning life skills that will lead to success in whatever you do in life. The challenges we face in the future are daunting, and the values that come out of FIRST are the values that can solve these problems. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for those core values. There's a joy and a passion that we all share that will enable us to solve these problems around the world. I've been here before. I, I volunteered you. last year mm -hmm. at the DC regional event mm -hmm. and I did field reset and I saw all the excitement of all the kids and all the teams mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's where I met the team that I'm going to be working with this year, last year, but all I did was field reset. Mm. And that was, uh, that was exciting because you got to see all of the competitions and all of the events with every team there. And mm. it's, uh, if you haven't been to a regional event, it's well worth going. It's very exciting, lots of music, lots of energy, and the kids are great. Sounds like a gospel revival. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a combination uh, monster truck. Rally. Mm -hmm. uh, Monster sure. Truck Rally and um, maybe a little bit Star Trek convention mm -hmm. and a giant house party. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, is there beer involved? There is no beer. These are children. Oh, really? <laughs> well, children yeah, that are taller than we are in some cases. <laughs> Everyone is taller than I am. <laughs> okay, well, I just want to thank you for sharing that with us. But what do you expect from this event? This time, everything, everyone's going to be different, right? So, what's well, it is going to be different. It's a, it's the second time DC has held a regional event, mm -hmm. and last year was a brilliant debut for the DC region and really excellent representation from the DC public schools. And now that they've been engaged for two, this will be their second round here. That it will be very exciting for the DC public schools, and we're hoping they can represent outside the region when they when they okay. finish. Okay. Well, we need to represent, right? Absolutely. DC. Absolutely. Got some new buildings, right? Got some new teachers. Things are being shifted around. It's very controversial as what's going on. Yeah, well, and, and we're hoping the team that I'm working with, most of the kids have already gone out of the high school, mm -hmm. and we're hoping to get some new kids too. Bring okay. some younger kids into the program, and it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so we're going to see some interesting uh, adaptations. We saw what the kit boxes look like. So right, right. And, and you know, it looks like a lot of hardware and electronics, and it is. But it's a very interesting project from every aspect in terms of team building and in terms of, of figuring out how to fundraise for the other parts. I mean, that kit's not everything you need in order to, ch to make it through this challenge. Mm -hmm. And so there's got to be some way to get the materials and the supplies and the people and the pizza. And because, you know, all teams run on pizza. Oh, sure. And, uh, and so there are, there are a lot of different aspects. And also, as part of this competition, there is actual judging on the business practices and the fundraising and the marketing campaigns and as we saw today there's even a winner for the best safety video Ooh, so um, it, it's actually a pretty well-rounded event for anybody who wants to participate and uh, along with their fellow classmates okay so not too uh, early to start thinking about next year not too early to start right. thinking about next year and absolutely just barely in time to be thinking about this year okay. because we've got <laughs> just about six weeks to, between now and when the actual competition starts so Time to plan and build and get through this season and be thinking ahead. Well, Lisa, as if you didn't have enough to do, I'm sure with your busy NASA schedule, it's so good that you're here and you're interested, you're a mentor, you're concerned, and you want to see this come out to be a successful event. And we're going to learn something and, from this. And right? NASA gets a lot out of this. Mm -hmm. As we saw in the video today, we get employees and we get great ideas. And it's really to our benefit as a federal agency, to the government, to the country, to encourage kids to develop all of the skills they get out of this effort. Okay, I want to also introduce people to another person who's very involved in this. This is Robert Nathan. Uh, you are well known for your involvement in technology in general and also for communications, website development, et cetera, here in the district. What is going to be your perspective on this in terms of how this is going to pan out and what it's doing for the students? Well. But there's, there's someone we know. We're, yeah, we're so going to pan over and then we're going to get back over. to you, okay? Folks, uh, there's some leftover pizzas, extra pizzas. If you have not eaten lunch, please go get your pizza. If you have, let the people who have had theirs, get, haven't got it, get it, and then there's extras. There's leftovers. You promise? Pizza. <laughs> okay. Robert? Back there. We got a very important announcement that there's extra pizza left, so we had to stop for that. But I just want to let everyone know, again, your interest in this is a, as a volunteer, 
you obviously appreciate what's going on and how this is helping the young people. And so how are you going to contribute in this in, in, with your knowledge? Uh, basically, it's, it's, it's a lot of common sense and management and application of resources mm -hmm. that we teach. You, you talk to Lisa. NASA is big, heavily involved in it. Mm -hmm. NASA is known for rocket science. Mm -hmm. This is not rocket science. It's robot science. Mm -hmm. It may not be robot science also. It's all about teamwork. Mm -hmm. How people work together. Everybody doesn't have the skill set. Mm -hmm. But it's all about gracious professionalism. That's what I learned. You know, we came in last year because uh, Octal Chief Vivek Kundra mm -hmm. just invited us. Mm -hmm. We kind of blundered it into there. Mm -hmm. And with three weeks to go, we found a lot of kids who were interested at college high school. Mm -hmm. And we were asked to mentor them. And when we mentored them, they were interested and they all they needed was mentors. We just fit in mm -hmm. with our, our technology. Mm -hmm. I've never built a robot in my life. Mm -hmm. But Edward has built it. So we basically put our skills together, mm -hmm. taught the kids, very simple things to do. And lo and behold, just by sheer perseverance, our team was the first rookie team cool. in the last year's uh, 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 competition and it was a learning experience for all of us. I thought it was all about building robots. Mm -hmm. It's really not. It's about marketing, business development, mm -hmm. how you sell yourself, mm -hmm. how you help others. Mm -hmm. So Because we got a lot of help from others because mm -hmm. they were being graded, other people were being graded for helping mm -hmm. one another. Mm -hmm. And I never thought about that. Mm -hmm. So it is a perfect combination of growing children mm -hmm. to know that there's a world around them that they don't have to do everything by themselves. Mm -hmm. That is a success story. And that message should come out again and again. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's mentoring in its best kind. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that you came in and you're interviewing, mm -hmm. you're doing a great service for the competition, even though you don't know anything about robotics, mm -hmm. which cause you're taking people's thoughts, expressions, mm -hmm putting them on the web mm -hmm. and sharing them, mm -hmm. that motivates people to do better, right? I can see the motivation already because people are interested in, uh, in talking about this. But this reminds me of, say, in the 70s when you had something called Junior Achievement, which was a little bit simpler than this because the products weren't nearly as complex. But still, the same idea, bringing people together in teams, working through processes together, Absolutely. and building some of the employable skills that are going to be <laughs> useful later on, right? Yeah. And yeah, exactly, it's all about that. Mm -hmm. And in the process, kids suddenly realize, hey, I can build something. Mm -hmm. And the urban schools, the teachers are doing everything to teach them math, science, and everything mm -hmm. else, but never to work with hands, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a discovery of talents that you have, and people say, hey, I can do it. Mm -hmm. So it, it goes a long way for them to bring their interest into science and technology. What does FIRST stand for? It stands for FIRST. Mm -hmm. Uh, inspirational recognition of science and technology. Mm -hmm. It's all about bringing science and technology as a meaningful mm -hmm. sort of uh, curriculum into their lives. You know, people will get a passion for science and technology. Mm -hmm. Two of our kids from the from Coolidge actually went to college mm -hmm. because of their participation. Wow. Thing. You know, it's, it's, it's a great uplifting mm -hmm. and I'm really enjoy it. it gives you satisfaction that doing little, you can do a lot more. Mm -hmm. Just by doing a little bit on your part, there's a whole first team mm -hmm. around to help us out. Now, do you think, though, that companies sometimes, and even if they don't really necessarily orient themselves, but they're maybe finding a draft person here, a person they can bring into their company, potentially? Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is a great recruiting tool. Mm -hmm. You identify talent. Mm -hmm. The kids that come on and do it, I would have happily hire them, mm -hmm. you know? They'll come, You've they'll seen them work already. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You, it does a lot for the inner cities. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. It builds confidence, they go to college, and the teachers feel a, a sense of gratification, mm -hmm. the mentors feel something proud about it. I mean, you don't get that in real life mm -hmm. easily. People mm -hmm. pay to get that stuff, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Mm -hmm. They go to college and pay thousands of mm -hmm. hey, it's free out here, mm -hmm. and you're helping somebody else. Yeah. You know this, what I'm saying? Yeah, this is great. So, again, we see the much. participation here, and I want to thank you for being part of this. And, thank you, uh, I think we're going to see some amazing results today. Absolutely. Congratulations, Thor. Thanks for taking it. Okay.